everyone. I feel like it's been absolutely yonks since I picked up the camera and did like a little vlog. And I don't know, I just felt like, just felt like doing it today. I felt like, oh yeah, let's go on, I'll pick up the camera. It just feels right, you know. Um, how has everyone, how you all been? How exciting has it been for you since everything has opened up again? I don't know about you, but I have, like, I'm so grateful obviously, but I feel like I'm so busy. I feel like obviously everyone's trying to play catch up from last year, like we're all trying to like see everyone that we wanted to see, like catch up with people, family, friends, um, there's a lot of things going on. Yeah, I just feel like I've been really busy, which is obviously an amazing thing, but I'm like, like for once in my life, I've had to actually start putting things into my phone calendar and I'm someone that never really did that before, like ever. Um, just because I need to like remember in my head because I feel like I can't remember stuff and yeah, it's really lovely, but I just haven't really been picking up the camera because, I don't know, just in circumstances where I don't feel like they need to vlog or I'm with other people and I don't feel like quite comfortable just picking it up and be like, by the way, I'm gonna shove a camera in your face, so. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> gonna stop blabbing. Um, you just saw, saw me outside, I was just watering my little flowers. Cute. <laughs> me and Ryan went to be in queue last week and I was like, the patio looks drab. It looks really drab and like sad and I was like one of the fences needed painting because last year back into last year next door's landlord um took the fence panel out because it was kind of broken and we had painted that originally um the charcoal grey and obviously it got replaced and it was like a, a light brown fence so got around to painting that again so it's all matchy matchy it's all charcoal grey again which is nice and I was like Ryan we need to pot the plants so we went to B&Q got a load of flowers and um, I'm quite happy with them you did get a little overview of them but just looking really cute you know got a little basket from B&Q as well which I've just kind of hooked in I need to get some new fairy lights though because I got these last year and they're amazing they're solar panel ones but they've just stopped working and I think it's been from the winter so if I get some more I'm gonna bring them in at the winter because I don't want to risk that happening again it's quite sad it's got a little table chair set up little rug this was from home sense last year they're great for like little rugs I just I put this out in the day when it's nice and obviously I take it in when the weather goes a bit drab and take it in at night and just got a few little plants it's cute my dad kindly built this for us last year a plant stand and Ryan's mum kindly gave us this um, the other day, which was really, really lovely of her. It's a little bird feeder, so I've just popped that on the wall. How cute is that? We need to get some bird seed for that. So, yeah, feeling quite happy with how the patio is looking. Just got some soil sweepy brush down there because I'm tempted to get some more. Well, I feel like already these little guys are going to end up outgrowing this pot. So I feel like already we need to start getting a few bigger pots. Um, because I don't want them to feel like they haven't got room. But this little guy came out today. How cute. I never thought I'd be a flower garden person, guys. But I'm, it's really exciting when all your little flowers start growing. And you're like, oh, so cute. So, really happy about that. I'm feeling like making an iced coffee. I am loving the weather. However, inside our little house, it's like a sauna. It is so hot, I don't know what to do with myself, like it just gets so hot. We can open all the windows, it makes no difference, it's just absolutely boiling. Sleeping at night is the worst, we've got like both windows open, we've got a fan on and I'm like just sweating, <laughs> it's not great. But grateful for the lovely weather and I think it gives it literally about 26 degrees full sunshine tomorrow in Lincoln, which... I feel like I need to sunbathe all day, make the most of that. Um, oh, I did, I did burn last week, guys, and still don't understand it because look at that. <laughs> I was out in the sun all day with my friend Abby. We were sunbathing, we were loving life, weren't we, Abs? And yeah, it just, I was, what we don't understand is I was covered in sun cream. And before someone says, oh, you probably missed that bit, I definitely didn't. I literally smothered my whole arm and I kept topping it up throughout the day. Um, so I would understand maybe if the whole arm burnt. I wasn't laid like that. I was just laid, sat with my arm like this. I don't know, it's just caught me wrong, hasn't it? But I don't know, it's just all blotchy and horrible. Um, I might have to go up to factor 50. This was factor 30. It was the Nivea sun cream I got in my... Um, 
I showed it in my recent summer beauty haul if you haven't watched that I will link it on screen for you now everywhere else absolutely fine I was just just caught funny in that area so watch yourself in the sun guys be safe anyway here I am rabbiting on I feel like I have so much to tell you guys um tonight I'm really excited actually we're going to Ryan's mum's house and it's her birthday next week so we're doing like early birthday celebrations and she's hired at one of those um garden cinemas and um a popcorn machine which is amazing and i think we're watching the greatest showman i think originally we was going to watch walking on sunshine but i think we're going to be watching the greatest showman so we're all taking little picnicky foods it's going to be really lovely and we're just going to watch a film and it'll be really nice um really excited never experienced one of those little outdoor cinema things that you hire so it'll be lovely and the weather is cracking for it so yeah i think we got in there for about seven ish tonight and Ryan's got football this afternoon. We've got after delivery coming between three and five. Um, that's about it, really. I think I'm going to make an iced coffee, like I said. Stop waffling. Make a coffee and decide what I'm going to do. I actually really want to do some drawing on my iPad. That is something I did some last night. I'm really loving it. I go through phases and waves of it. It's because it's a pressure thing. It depends if I'm busy as well. If I have free time, sometimes I put too much pressure on myself and I end up not doing it just because I put too much pressure on myself of like, oh, you should be doing this or you should be doing that. But I've been enjoying it, just picking it up as and when. It's cute. So, yeah. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all enjoying life. Oh my goodness, that was needed. I love iced coffee, it's so good. Mm. So I've just added some vanilla syrup into this and it just makes it taste even better. Mm. Definitely what's needed on a lovely hot summery day. So I've been sat doodling for the last 15 minutes or so and I'm really grateful actually because I had a look on my little illustration um, Instagram account. I will pop that on screen now for you if you fancy checking it out. I'm nearly at a thousand followers which is amazing actually, like I'm really shocked so I just thought I think I've got like 40 to go or something so I thought oh why don't I prep a little thousand follower post and just just to thank everyone for following me and it's just a nice little chance to do some fun little doodles on there so that's what i've been doing and i've got the little sketch together so that's what you would have seen me kind of working on there so here's this is the la the sketch layer so this is really like rough at the moment it's just kind of lots of different little characters really some leafy design i'll have a thousand on there um i'm not sure what brushes i'm gonna go for yet but we've got like a little guinea pig we've got some peaches that are holding each other up to hold the thousand flag we've got the little dashend so cute crocodile little cloud rainbow leaves yeah just thought it's just a really random fun little design i just thought it'd be really cute and i've been enjoy doing it actually so i might show you later the process of that and where i've got up to um when i'm filling it in I know I kind of want a rough kind of style to this, so the lettering, so I might go with, we've got all the brushes on here, um, I might go with like the 6B pencil to colour that in, um, I need to think about different colours and brushes for everything else, but yeah, I'm just going to have a play with that and see where I get to, but yeah, really enjoying that, and I've just kind of laid down, I've got the telly on in the background, I am not in focus, come on camera, wow, struggling today, there we go. I had to actually turn the camera off and have a look. I think it flicked a manual focus by accident. I just popped it back onto normal. Um, I'm really hot. Shock horror. Let's see how many times I say I'm hot in this video. 
quite a few times. So it's a little bit later now. Sorry, it's like I'm just jumping. It's like flash with skip time. Um, it's probably about an hour and a bit later, hour and 20 later. I've done the little illustration. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Let me show you it. So this is how it's looking. Come on, focus. I think it's pretty cute. I'm happy with this. Got all the little characters here, holding up the thousand banner, got the little croc. It's just really sweet. I was going for a really cutesy vibe. Obviously, I have an issue. I always put rosy cheeks on literally anything I draw. <laughs> anything that I can. <laughs> if it's got a personality, it's getting a rosy cheek. <laughs> it's just something I tend to do all the time. I notice it's quite funny actually, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. Really cute. <laughs> just come upstairs to fish my little picnic basket out so we can take all our little picnicky bits later on um which will be lovely as the delivery should be coming within well between three and five what time is it now uh it's nearly three so i'm within the next two hours and i've got some picnicky bits coming on that so that's great and i've just found my cutesy basket do you know what i couldn't even tell you where this was from i think it was I think it was a gift for years ago, one of my birthday gifts, and I don't actually know where it's from, but it's so cute. It's not like massive, but it's so sweet, and I remember I've got some little paper plates in here from the last time I used it, handy, and some little cups and some napkins. Oh my god, these have been in here for ages. Oh, so that's handy, and I've got some hand sanitizer in there, little Bath and Body Works, warm vanilla sugar. And warm vanilla sugar <laughs> both different packaging i don't even know how old they are but they're in there cute um i think the knives and forks are actually in my drawer downstairs but that's cute we'll use paper plates i can just use this to put some of our bits in how exciting oh i love a little picnic this is just so cute i love it sweet so at least i've got that prepped <sighs> i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say it <laughs> oh i haven't shown you my bedding actually so in the last few weeks we bought some new bedding and we got this from dunnell mill and it's beautiful so we got this lovely set and look at the texture on it it's so nice absolutely love it and then we got this nice bedspread as well it was it's so cute and they did have matching two square cushions in this um in this kind of like texture and was just going to have them sit there but unfortunately they only had um one and they didn't get any more and then we've kind of forgot about it so maybe at one point but i would like to kind of inject a bit of color maybe like a nice long cushion to go here that'd be sweet but yeah i just really like this bed and we also got a um, another one from dunnell mill which was we came not another bedspread but like another duvet set and it was a waffle kind of one it was white it's got it's got a section on the pillow so it goes like waffle up to here and then it's same on the bed it goes to waffle up to a certain like height which is really nice and we also i'll show you my other little purchase so this lamp how cute is this like seagrass lamp this was from b&m and it was 15 pound i saw it i was like i can't leave it in the shop because it's too nice like it's so nice for 15 pounds so we just grabbed that it's absolutely beautiful i love it so much i love 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 the boho kind of scandinavian vibe um especially like at the moment everything's so neutral and i love injecting a bit of color but i do love all like the seagrass and the boho kind of textures and cushions and bedding and all the lovely little accessories that you can find everywhere so that's really nice i would spend a fortune i could easily spend another fortune online i've seen what is this brand I've seen? I follow them on Instagram. Ivy and... Let me find it. I've got my phone over there. It's so nice. I found them on Instagram. I think it's Ivy... Let me have a look. Do, 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 do. River and Ivy official. And guys, this, it's just so dreamy. Like, look at the aesthetic of everything. Little pricey, like, the cushions. I want them all, like... They are absolutely incredible, but they are like £30, like, let's have a look at that one. That one's about £30, but I, I just thought, oh, the cushion, it's only the cover as well. So, 
kind of pricey but I absolutely love them I love all this aesthetic at the moment it's so cute oh absolutely stunning look at that I've already liked that one <laughs> just beautiful can you buy that no it's just a vase but I want to know where this bedside table is I would love a bedside table like that really pretty yeah this is the kind of vibe I love at the minute The as delivery has arrived, which is good. And um, yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little overall of, I thought I'd just give you a little haul of what I've got. It's nothing too exciting, to be honest. But we've got some light mayo, eggs. Oh my goodness, actually guys, right. Please let me know if you've tried this. I absolutely love it. It makes the washing smell incredible. I honestly, I've been buying it for weeks now. I love it. Got some kettle chips. Oh, I said chips instead of crisps. It's because it says chips. I read it. Just <laughs> I'm not American. I just said chips. That was weird. Crisps. <laughs> um, these are really good. Me and Ryan have had this one before, and I just thought I'd grab one of these because just some. Sometimes it's nice just to have an easy meal in, and it's it's pretty healthy as well. The Jim Kitchen Peri Peri Chicken. We've got some straws, some tuna. That is a necessity. Got some fine cut salad, got two bags of that. Some lightly spiced wedges. Um, just got a little vegetable medley there. Some halloumi, shredded iceberg lettuce. Got some cheese. Uh, chicken breast strips. These are so handy to have like making like a homemade Nando's in a wrap. And because they're frozen, I just find it easier. Like, I don't know, I don't have to plan as much. I can just leave it in and think, oh yeah, fancy Nando's wraps tonight. Add these in. So you just defrost them. They're ready to eat hot or cold. It's great. Um, some Yorkshire puds. We've got these are for a little picnic tonight. So we've got some meats and cheese. We've got a little quiche Lorraine. Uh, some sausage rolls. And the marinated chorizo and Iberic Iberico. Please, that is wrong. I, I know, forgive me. But that looks nice, to be fair. Um, some sausages, milk, jacket potatoes, some lean bacon. We've got some, oh, I love this, the coconut light and more yogurt, pasta, hot dog rolls. Um, I've gone for Bible One triple chocolate cake bars this week and the milk chocolate popcorn bars. These were on offer, which was amazing. Ooh, I got the chocolate fingers and buttons for tonight just for a tap to our little picnic. Two tins of chopped tomatoes, some passata and tomato puree. Oh, did get some bananas and some oh, little easy peelers because I'm a child. <laughs> And some loo roll as well, just to finish it off. So yeah, it's a little as the haul. I'm going to have to put all this away now. Ryan's at football. He should be back very shortly now. And then I'm just going to sort out everything to take for our little picnic. And yeah, we're all good. So I'm going to crack on with that. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. What is that? What do you call that when all the, the sun reflects on the screen and it's sort of like... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's just, it looks pretty. Um, we are on our way now. God, I can't get like the light right. We are on our way to Ryan's mum's. Very excited to watch The Greatest Showman I think we're watching now, which is very exciting. Ryan's never seen The Greatest Showman. We've never been able to get him to watch it. And now he's got to watch it because we're going to be sat outside. And I'm so excited for you to experience that for the first time. By the end of it, you're on the journey home. You're going to be wanting to put the music on. We're going to be singing it at the top of our lungs. It's going to be like, amazing <laughs> so i'm so excited you shake your head but you're gonna love it um got a picnic ready in the back we're just gonna stop off at the shop and get some lemonade or coke or something yes i will see you shortly <laughs> It was bound to happen 